Second. Atlas V rocket. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Pusitar. Go Solar Orbiter. There you heard the final status check for Booster Centaur and spacecraft. Everything is go. And so here we go. T minus 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life giving star. Now we control the voice and respond to the board. ULA's launch commentary. Now 25 seconds in the flight. Chamber pressure on the SRV looks good. And it's operating parameters on the RD-180 also look good. Good report so far. Atlas 5 beginning to pitch over. 35 seconds in. Vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now 41 seconds into flight. 45 seconds into flight. Everything is looking good. Heard that the RD-180 engine was operational. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected, and the engine response looks good. I'm going to pull those engines down for just a little bit as we anticipate max Q. Vehicle's now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. At maximum dynamic pressure is the period of maximum mechanical stress on the rocket because it's reached its highest velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Made it through and they're throttling back up. And standing by for SRB burnout. And we have burnout on the solid rocket booster. Atlas will hold on to the SRB for an additional 47 seconds prior to jettison. They're going to let that thing go at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Now, that 1 minute 45 boost. seconds into flight. RD-180 continues to perform well at full thrust. Pump speeds and injector pressures look good. All right, stand by now for booster jettison. And now coming up on 2 minutes into flight, the Atlas V vehicle now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected and continues response to continues to look good. And standing by for SRV jettison shortly. Now look to your screen. And we have good indication see it. There of jettison of the solid rocket booster. Atlas V has gone to Q Alpha Limited closed loop steering. Vehicle body rates look good. Now the next major milestone is now two minutes thirty five seconds into flight. At three minutes and twenty five seconds. And the second stage RCS system press valve is opened. System now pressurizing the flight levels. Flying at over 5,000 miles per hour. Now three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until Biko. And he's talking about main engine cutoff. One minute. RD-180 continues to look good. At, uh, pump speeds and injector pressures look good. Three minutes, 15 seconds in. Right, about to cut that booster. Vehicle body rates Just look stable. Seconds. Now three minutes, 30 seconds in. RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to a 4.6 G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill down is ended. Standing by for BECO. And Just we have BECO booster engine cutoff. Standing by for stage Atlas set. Atlas separation. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for ignition. Next major milestone is the payload fairing. When that comes off, we have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. That payload. And fairing we have good jettison. indication of payload fairing jettison. 
right now. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately eight minutes. And the RCS system is now performing initial firings to warm up the RCS motor catalyst bed. System response looks good. And the Centaur is now 100 miles in altitude, 450 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,800 miles per hour. Five minutes, 10 seconds into flight. You're listening to the voice of Patrick Moore, ULA's uh, launch commentator. <laughs> Centaur propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control. Flight is looking very good at this point. And RCS system now performing periodic firing for thermal conditioning of the system. System response looks good. And initial review of booster performance shows the booster performed uh, close to uh, pre-flight predictions. So the next major milestone will be the Centaur first main engine cutoff, and we've got about, uh, I'd say, five to six minutes before.